WTA is looking for your thoughts on some proposed changes that may affect your fares, your routes, and fare eligibility. So ABC4's Annika Johns is joining us live from Salt Lake Central Station after speaking to UTA about these changes and the best ways for you to send in your comments. So Annika, what changes are they actually considering right now? Well, Courtney, there are four proposed changes up for debate here with UTA, and they're asking for your input. Now, one of the ones they're looking at is going to be removing the zero fa fare program in Utah County. But they say if the program works, they don't want to remove it, remove it. But in order to make your voice heard, they need your input. UTA's track trains pull into and out of the Salt Lake Central Station all day long. And while their system may seem simple on the outside, the UTA team is looking to make some changes, and they need your help. Change day at UTA happens three times a year, where we update service, make refinements to our system. Recommendations for this year's change day in August 2024 include changes to fares, routes, and reduced fare eligibility. You'll see some changes to our fare pay card system, some changes to our reduced fare program, Program, as well as UVX. UTA is looking to update the fare pay cards and remove the 20% discount on each ride, but begin implementing fare capping for cardholders. We are proposing to implement what's known as fare capping. Um, that caps how much you pay, not how much you ride. And so there will be, you'll see a change uh, proposed to that fare pay card system where people will be capped at a daily rate. So um, they won't pay after they hit that daily rate or a weekly rate. Additionally, UTA is looking to eliminate bus route 606, which has already been suspended for some time, and continue to keep routes 39, 201, and 218 reduced because of staffing shortages. Those routes, we called them out specifically because we had planned to increase service when we could. However, we're not in a position yet to restore those services back to uh, what they used to be in terms of frequency. Finally, their last proposal is looking to remove the zero fare program for the Utah Valley Express, which serves Orem and Provo. The fare would be a regular fare to be in alignment with the rest of our system at $2.50 for a one-way trip. Waters continues saying to remember, these changes are not set in stone just yet, and that is why they need public input. We want to make sure that even if those changes go forward, right, that we're understanding the impact so that we can implement them, maybe change how we do it so that it's more supportive of the community. Now, the period to review these changes is March 20, uh, 29th, excuse me. Now, if you're looking for a more in-depth look at some of these changes or a way to put in your public comment, we have all the links available, available for you at abc4.com. Reporting live from the Salt Lake Central Station, Anka Johns, ABC4 News.